Hi Christchurch London, David Stroud here, eager to be in touch after the news of this last weekend of the new set of restrictions that is going to affect us all during November at the very least. One of the implications for the church is that we will no longer be able to do in-person worship services uh, at least for the next four weeks. But I know that it affects us all in different and often very challenging ways. And so I wanted to be in touch firstly to express our love and our support. Philip from my love and support, the Christchurch London uh, leadership team's care and support and know that uh, we are rooting for you and want to do anything we can to help. There's four different ways in which we as a church want to be supporting you right now. And the first is that we want to make sure that you know everything that's going on and all the different ways in which you can connect. Please make sure uh, that you are signed up for our Monday notice board email. And that not only uh, talks about church-wide events, but it talks about the different services, the different wraparound Zooms that we're going to be doing. You're going to be able to connect before a service that we'll be doing online as well as afterwards as well. Uh, with many other things, do make sure you're signed up for that. I want to encourage you too to make sure that you're really part of community this next month. That always matters, but it's never mattered more than it will do in this next few weeks. And connect groups which you can sign up for online provide opportunities not only to connect online, but also for in-person meetings. And even over this next month, individuals can go for walks together uh, and find other ways of connecting. And I want to encourage you to make the most of that. Thirdly, there is a Serving Our City page on the website. Have a look at it, full of ways in which you can serve the city right now. But there's also an in, uh, a need help form there. And if this latest set of restrictions has put you into financial crisis, then do let us know. And if it's at all possible, we'd love to do everything that we can to support you at this time. Remember too, that the prayer teams and the pastoral support team are available for you. They're here to talk with you and to pray with you. And you can connect directly with them, pastoral support at christchurchlondon.org and prayer at christchurchlondon.org. Please do make the most of those. But I want to finish with this encouragement. A anxiety does not need to define us at this point in time. In fact, Jesus was constantly encouraging us not to give in to anxiety. I know it's challenging, uh, but I want you to remember his words. Do not be anxious, but seek first the kingdom. A great picture or example of that was the Apostle Paul. He had his own lockdown. It was called prison. And first century ancient Near Eastern prisons were not nice places to be. There was no food. There was no sanitation. And yet when Paul wrote the letter to the Philippians, which he wrote from prison, the commentators say or call Paul the happiest man on earth. Paul had learnt not to be anxious, but to press into God, to draw on him in such a way that he was filled with joy. And I want to encourage you this, this next month to see this as an opportunity to draw close to God. When we come out of this pandemic, and in the end we will do that, this city is going to be in great need. It's going to be great need, in great need of followers of Jesus who've become spiritually strong and vital, able to serve those in great need. I want to encourage us all as we look out for each other, care for each other, love and serve one another, to make the most of the extra time we have, of the extra opportunity we have, and draw close to him. Find the joy that Paul will experience. You may even want to read Philippians uh, during this next four weeks. Uh, either way and however you play that, we want you to know we love you. We're with you. Get in touch if there's anything we can do for you. And we're so looking forward to being back together again very soon.